The little bits of 90s style in here look like a Rio MP3 player. Down here on the side, these door buttons are all one gigantic piece. And they look like traditional switches with a rubber condom over the entire thing. And they're cheap GM switches. But the rubber bondage stuff makes it at the time made it look futuristic because we were told like touch screens and stuff were coming but it would be another 10 years before stuff like that became mainstream so in the meantime let's just take buttons and and, and put a uh, one gigantic rubber piece on top of them no one does that today now either it's a touch screen or it's very healthy feeling buttons same thing goes up here with the trip computer trip computer now we just call it settings look at that 26.3 miles per gallon and that's like with a lot of city driving around here well town driving I should say so over here you have your trip computer you can uh, say Imperial or metric which just changes everything notice there's no dual uh, gauges within a gauge where you have the kilometers below the miles per gallon or miles per hour that's just there you have number four here which is options press options now notice everything is uh, controlled by this tiger elect uh, tiger handheld electronic thing down here that's your entire interface is just that small LED dot matrix screen down there that's my alarm, I think. Oh no, that's my alarm. Approach lights on is, I, I don't know what that means. Auto lock is off. Okay, that's the thing that locks your doors automatically. Uh, back to language. Let's go to trip number three. Trip gives you my active handling on. Can I turn that off? All right, that's my odometer, 60,000 miles on the car. It's rare, it's barely driven, it's rare. Okay, here's the fun one, elapsed times. Look at that. The only really button you have is, is the reset button to interact with stuff. But that is my stopwatch. Hold it in, there it goes. So Porsche isn't the only people who have a really pretentious stopwatch. Corvette had it too. Stop. There you go. Number two is gauges. Gauges gives me, okay, oil pressure. Obviously there's no oil pressure because the car is off my old temperature is sitting here at 190 coolant temperature interesting the coolant temperature is 198 you think that's high it's not all ls engines i mean your normal setting for your ls engine normal like midway up your temperature gauge is 220 if i have an old ford falcon with the 302 in it or 50 depending yeah they don't like that ls engines run naturally hot like that so don't let that freak you out and number one of course is fuel Average fuel, my instant, no, yeah, right, 99, I'm not moving. Tells me my range, 164, that's it? Oh, I only have a quarter of a tank. That's quite good. The gear shifter is meant to be hold like this, not like this. It's square, it's a square gear shift knob. Most people remove these, they put on something else. The only way that makes this feel comfortable is to rotate my hand up like this and then row through the gears like so. It is a more substantial throw than you would expect and, oh right, there's no gear there. <laughs> That's reverse. It's more a substantial throw you, uh, than you uh, expect, but remember, there's a torque tube running all the way back. The transmission is back there. Because this is a bone stock Corvette, the skip shift is enabled. So sometimes it'll force you to go from first to fourth. Don't worry, it's an LS, it'll handle it. Oh, you're thirsty, you want a drink? It's an American car, you'd think it would have cup holders. Nope, that's it. How do you make the fuel door open? Which is back there. How do you make that open? Well, it's not here, that's your trunk. It's not there, that's your fog lights. It's not there, that's your interior dimmer, which 
goes in and out for some damn reason. It is in your center console there. Press that. Doink. And curious thing, you can just close it while you're still in the car. <laughs>